even if Donald Trump hasn't done a lot of public speaking during his trip abroad, his body language and that of those around him speaks volumes. Lillian Glass is a body language expert who works with politicians and Hollywood actors. It tells us a lot what's going on in terms of a person's emotion. And with Donald Trump, we certainly see everything that's going on emotionally. Throughout the trip from Saudi Arabia to Israel, the Vatican to Brussels and Italy, there were many routine and friendly interactions between Donald Trump and world leaders, but there was no mistaking the cool reception of NATO leaders who stood stone-faced Thursday as Trump lectured U.S. allies about the need to spend more money on defense. that NATO members must finally contribute their fair share and meet their financial obligations. Trump's strongman approach to politics has always played out in his body language. At the NATO group photo on Thursday, Trump's move to get to the front of the pack caused double takes. The president pushes himself past Montenegro's prime minister. The incident made headlines in Montenegro, but the country's leader called it a, quote, harmless situation. Uh, he was smiling, but you could tell it was a tense smile. It was kind of an angry smile. I think from that aggressive action, we glean that there's some inner anger going on. Trump has been known for his alpha male handshake. If Donald Trump likes you, he lets you know it through his handshake. But he may have met his match in newly elected French President Emmanuel Macron Thursday. Macron gripping so tightly that Trump struggled to pull away. You have two strong leaders and they were showing their physical strength to one another through their handshake. Uh, it wasn't a white knuckle situation, it was described in the press. It was really a mutual strength. A different kind of hand clasping, or lack thereof, played out twice. Upon arrival in Rome, and then again on the tarmac following Trump's welcome ceremony in Israel. The first lady appears to swipe away Trump's hand on the runway. So you really see Melania's discomfort. She's stiff, she's awkward, she oftentimes lags behind, she walks in back, and she's not very comfortable in that public eye. On the other hand, there was no questioning Trump's friendly mojo with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The two embraced repeatedly while Trump was in Israel, a strong contrast to the strained relationship the Israeli leader had with President Obama. More proof that actions can be as powerful as words, especially when the whole world is watching. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.